Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the better channel, which is the build 22635.3420. And in this video, as always, we're going to cover everything that is new, changes, improvements, and also fixes that were applied in this latest build for the better channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access, a virtual private network where VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. First of all, Microsoft is assisting a new taskbar layout and that is a new widgets icon location in the right side of the taskbar near the system tray when taskbar is set to left. If you go to taskbar settings and then taskbar behaviors and you have the taskbar alignment set to left, you will be able to get this in the better channel. This is slowly rolling out, so I managed to enable this thanks to the IDs provided by Phantom Ocean 3, but I'm also going to make most likely a new video, a dedicated video, which I'll show you how to enable the hidden features from this build. So basically, as you can see, we have this new location near the system tray in the right side. If we click on it or hover over it, you're going to notice that the widgets board will be opened up from the right side of the screen. This is pretty similar to the news and interests section that was in Windows 10. So if you want to disable this, you can always right click on the taskbar, taskbar settings, and then uncheck widgets and widgets will be automatically disabled from the taskbar. Or you can set taskbar behaviors and then taskbar alignment to the center and widgets will be automatically moved back to the left side. That is also a thing that you can do. But for me, I personally like the taskbar layout to be on the left. So I think this is pretty good. Of course, you can go to widgets and then settings and you're going to have here this option open widget it's board on hover so you can disable it being opened on hover because of course it being in the right side you are most likely to hover over this when you're going to the system tray and whatnot so you can disable it from here also if you want related to the file explorer we have a new feature that is very very useful and that is the ability to drag and drop to the address bar so if i'm going to go to the pictures section and then go into a folder i can drag and drop a file to the address bar to another location so i get it from screenshots to pictures and that is really really simple to do i think this is a really nice new addition yet again thanks to phantom 3 I was able to enable this on the better channel but as I've said I'm gonna make a dedicated video in which I'll show you how to enable this also one new thing that Microsoft is adding users will now be able to generate QR codes for URLs and cloud file links through the Windows share window to seamlessly share web pages and files across their devices to try this out in Microsoft Edge just click the share button in the edge toolbar and choose Windows share options also to prevent accidentally closing the Windows share window clicking outside of the Windows share window will no longer close it to close the Windows share window just press the close button at the top right corner and this I think is also working for the file explorer if I'm going to click on that as you can see it's no longer closing the share window when I'm clicking outside of it I just have to click on this close button related to Windows backup if you have both personalization and other Windows settings toggled on under settings accounts and Windows backup many of your sound settings including chosen sound scheme will be backed up which can be restored via the Windows backup app Microsoft is also beginning to roll out the ability to sign in with your Microsoft account directly within the Windows backup app to save backups to your account. Related to Windows Copilot, you can now ask Copilot in Windows for help 10 times before you have to sign in with a Microsoft account using a local account. And Microsoft is also adding weather and more widgets to the lock screen. You can see a screenshot of how that looks. You're going to have info such as finance, traffic, sports on your lock screen alongside weather. And this can be personalized in the personalized section of settings and then you have to go down to lock screen and here you can personalize it. Now let's talk about a few fixes in this build. For example, related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue caused file explorer to crash on launch for a small number of insiders in the previous flight. They also fix an issue where the option to set a different wallpaper on each desktop wasn't working. Related to search, fix an issue which could potentially result in no app results showing in search anymore. And also related to task manager, they fix an issue where task manager was holding onto process handle sometimes, leading to processes not stopping when you closed apps if you'd had task manager opened. Also we have a fix for the never combined taskbar icons in the taskbar. So basically right now the app labels in the taskbar taskbar sometimes do not have the correct length which cuts off the label text. This occurs when the setting is set to when taskbar is full or never. This should be fixed now. And there are also other fixes on the official Microsoft blog post but you can check those out there or in the article below if you're interested. But overall this is the build for the better channel. I think this is a pretty interesting build with this new taskbar layout and also the drag and drop to the file explorer address bar. I think those are two interesting. Uh, the last one also useful feature. So if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with notification
notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.